discovery and exploration of outer celestial bodies has been the primary concern for various space programs. Countries have been engaging in a space race in terms of achieving various firsts like first man on space, first man on the moon, first manned satellite mission and so on. Whereas Indian space program aims at utilizing space technology for the human benefits like telecommunication, education, weather forecasting, disaster warning, cartography and so on. Today we have G. Dinesh Kumar, the faculty advisor from the Hindustan Institute of Technology and Science along with his mentee Harikrishnan KJ, the team lead of Jaihind 1S, the lightweight satellite designed for the Cubes in Space competition conducted by the NASA and iDoodle Learning. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Could you please tell me what way lightweight satellites benefit us in the field of aerospace science? So actually, the cost of launch for a satellite is actually, it go, goes to crores and lakhs. So when we reduce the weight of the satellite, um, the cost will uh, in, uh, decrease and uh, the launch cost uh, will decrease and uh, less fuel is enough to for if you see if we need tons and tons of satellite uh, to put in orbit it needs uh, plenty of fuel and it increases cost also so when we reduce the size of the satellite uh, eventually we can reduce the size of the rocket also and uh, the fuel consumption the launch rate uh, everything will be decreasing the outer coating of the satellite is uh, nylon 6 polymer uh, and uh, we have made this cube in a 3D printed uh, technology uh, and inside it uh, we have placed some sensors to measure 20 parameters. The earlier inventor uh, Rifaz Shahrukh has come up with uh, using reinforced fi carbon fiber. So why was that you chose uh, nylon instead of following the same strategy? So uh, basically if you see uh, nylon is easily able to 3D print. And moreover, now uh, you, you can see all the people like uh, want to colonize in moon and Mars. So the colonization is something like the using this nylon, you can also easily make a 3D printed houses. So what we want to do is like we want to study the material behavior in the microgravity. Okay. So that's the reason we used the nylon, which is uh, having a good uh, residue uh, power and all. So that's the reason. Okay. What is material behavior in uh, microgravity? Uh, material behavior, when you see, uh, you know, when you go up, uh, when into the space, it's near, it's uh, it's vacuum. Mm. So there's a chance that uh, your uh, material can deform. Mm. So something can happen due to the uh, vacuum pressure over there. Okay. So we want to learn how molecular interactions mm. uh, happens. So okay. this kind of study we want to do. So okay. that's the reason uh, we gave uh, like alternate as a nylon. Okay. So basically, one more thing is nylon you can easily three D print. Fine. So you have tested it uh, in a in a simulated environment here. We have done the test uh, like in not actually to the space level or near space level. Oh. So uh, Na NASA, what they do is this through Polaris Space Center. They will send the satellite around August, okay. and uh, they will send this through a weather balloon. Okay. So it will go till around forty kilometer, okay. and after that they will uh, send back the satellite to us. So we will see how the deformation has occurred. We will tabulate accordingly. We can validate, and we can justify whether this nylon will behave properly and what kind of different everything we can put it as a report and we'll submit so this is after your local testing in your environment you have sent this to nasa correct exactly. so it will be launched by the month of august and you'll get it uh, you have to further uh, improvise yes based on your yes, research yes, fine yes. so how soon uh, you establish communication with the satellite once it is launched and what kind of strategy you have uh, derived to make the communication possible so actually we don't have a direct communication with the satellite. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, included many sensors to measure uh, uh, various parameters okay. and these uh, sensors values will be uh, operated through onboard computer mm -hmm. and this onboard computer will store all the data in an SD card module. Okay. So all the data should be stored in SD card module. The Na NASA will retrieve it. Actually the total lifespan of the satellite is around 25 hours. Okay. So after this uh, it will fall somewhere in the sea and they will retrieve it and they will send back to us. So we can take the uh, SD card module and the, the, with that SD card module, we can check what uh, parameters uh, have uh, measured. So you have properly protected the memory space, which will, even if it falls into the sea, it will not get... Yeah, uh, it will not. Okay, fine. 
what is the difference between near space and space and where your satellite is going to be positioned in the space or near the space okay. so basically sir when you see about the space exactly 100 kilometers is called a karman line okay. so uh, so if you see below 100 kilometer it is called aeronautics so aircraft all the things is above 100 km is called astronautics this so is how they are above in the sense uh, from the atmosphere uh, 100 km is the barrier okay. so after 100 km they call astronomical behavior below 100 km is called aeronautical behavior that's okay. how they are it's a common line okay. so basically that's uh, after 100 km it's called space okay. so when you talk about near space around 80 km 85 so nasa is conducting this uh, competition with collaboration added with link in terms of cube space through two parameters one they send through sounding rocket which will go exactly the space around 100 km okay. Okay. and they are also using balloons also mm. and the balloon they are having two categories one they are using a zero pressure balloon one like uh, called a super pressure balloon okay. this uh, super pressure balloon can go up to of 85 km mm. which is about to near space okay. so other one uh, called zero pressure balloon it's go till 40 45 km okay. so ours I think they have chosen to send in the zero pressure balloon which will go up to 45 km Okay. So, what kind of uh, data it will record? Uh? Yes. Sir. So, what we have done is we have uh, put uh, three, four sensors in such a way when it uh, climbs each altitude, it records the lapse rate, temperature, okay. pressure okay. and uh, also uh, we have uh, the MPU unit into it where it will record the acceleration in all the direction plus uh, pitch, roll and yaw. So, using this we can get the trajectory path of the balloon mm. or if they send to rocket also we can get the path of the rocket. Okay. So, that's how we have done. And apart from that, uh, our uh, topic is itself we have given in such a way that the behavior of uh, uh, what you can say nylon in the microgravity. Okay. So, three criteria we can. One is the behavior of nylon in microgravity, mm. then the weather parameters we can measure through the sensors, then also we can see the trajectory of the satellite through the balloon. Uh, why your satellite is named as Jehind Vanas? Uh, your patriotism is explicitly expressed, uh, but we would like to know the story behind it. Um, so actually, uh, first uh, we want to do something for uh, ISRO, ISRO. Okay. Uh, but then the competition was conducted by NASA, and uh, the uh, satellite will record all the parameters in uh, American condition. Okay. So. Uh, we thought that uh, it will not do anything to India, uh, but perhaps we have uh, many more idea uh, which will be we will do in forthcoming years. Okay. Uh, but then uh, this the first thing, uh, satellite which we made uh, is not doing any contribution to India. So we just thought that even the NASA scientists could uh, uh, praise our country, Jai okay. Hind. Okay. <laughs> And um, uh, we did in a team, uh, okay. uh, myself, uh, I'm project lead um, and then uh, my friends, uh, three of my friends, like Amarnath, uh, he took uh, software and technical part, mm -hmm. Giri Prasad, the test operation work he did and the uh, design, outer part design, everything was designed by Sudhi. Okay. So if you see this, uh, the outer design is actually uh, Ashoka Chakra based structure. Okay. So what is the main thing to do is uh, Ashoka Chakra is it shows our patriotism yeah. and uh, the strokes, no, it will uh, reduce the weight. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we have go, uh, ended up with 33.39 uh, grams. Okay, 33.39 grams, which is lesser than the previous yeah. one invented. Okay, so you are all you all belong to which year of uh, this uh, engineering course? We are first year uh, aerospace engineering. So you have a long way. You have a lot more time to invent much more, right? Would we have uh, an improved version of uh, Jehind Vernas after NASA gorges it uh, the performance of uh, Jehind Vernas? Please tell us. Yes, sir. Actually, after so much of you know uh, media coverage, a lot of people are coming to support us. Okay. So that uh, gave a lot of confidence in us to why not uh, we make a version which can help for a social cause. Mm. So definitely, we are looking into it. So this time, we are planning to make it a uh, further like putting a small communication uh, system into it so that we can communicate. The earlier version was something like you have a stored memory card mm. it and you have to retrieve and data, yes. collect the data. Yes. So we want to study the cloud behavior uh, which all of a sudden will have a sudden cloud burst mm. bring which, will be, will, uh, which will bring more rain uh, fall in terms of like 10 centimeter to like 15, 16 centimeters. So in a concentrated in, area. In a, in a concern area. Okay. So we want to uh, look, uh, we, we are trying to make a study which can easily identify these kind of weather parameters. Okay, so we wish you have more vibrant teams, you develop uh, more satellites. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you.
Engineering is not just a field of education. It is a field of cultivating the spirit of innovation. Stay tuned with us for more such videos.